kinda hip tight no With every spit or flow And every gig slash show This is my gift, let's go Hey guys, what up? Welcome back. Gonna jump on this chat by one back called Back to Hell. Thanks for being watching, requesting, liking, commenting, doing all that good stuff, and don't forget to press subscribe button. Yo, why was speaking fucking tongues and shit? No one's coming to save you. Doctor, doctor, have mercy on me. Yo, this is rare. It's my escapism. Yeah. Half fast with that half give a shit. Yeah. Half man. angelic, half spiritless. Half gassed up, half sick of this full time dickhead, part time lyricist. Ridiculous. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, because we're doing everything by a half, then, man. Half gassed up, half sick of this full time dickhead, part time lyricist. Yo! I'm a full time dickhead and part time YouTubist or part time backcatcherist. No. That don't work, does it? I'll just I'll just stick to I'll just stick to listening rather than try to make some shit up, man. Yo, we're doing everything by half, so apart from until when we got to dickhead. Half gassed up, half sick of this full time dickhead, part time lyricist. Ridiculous, it's a fact that I got loco. Wait, do you see Basky on the coke though? Racking up the blow so much, I might even use a packet as a logo. Traveling at light speed, time ticking in slow mo. Yeah, I'm still an addict, Whoa. just imagine if I go sober, would you even notice? I'd imagine that you won't. Will it happen? Well, I hope so. Every time I relapse, I feel my hopes crack and my dreams dash. Is the devil dragging me Yo, back? Oh, hang on, man, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yo, Batsky's coming out with some shit today, man. Yo, my man's come out saying, yo, every time I relapse in my hopes and my hopes and dreams are dashed and all sorts, would you even recognise me if I weren't on, you know, any sort of drug? But he says, yo, you should see Batsky on the fucking cocaine. Is what he's saying, man. Yo, I'm like this when I'm not on cocaine. You should see me on that shit. Yo, cocaine makes you hyper as fuck, or um, at least twitchy as fuck anyway. You see Basky on the coke though, racking up the blow so much, I might even use a packet as a logo. I hope you're racking up the blow so much, I could even use a packet as a logo. Traveling at light speed, time ticking in slow mo. Yeah, I'm still an addict, just imagine if I go sober, would you even notice? I'd imagine that you won't, will it happen? Well, I hope so. Every yeah, time me too, I relapse, man. I feel my hopes crack and my dreams dash. Is the devil dragging me back to hell? I was halfway up the stair with the heaven until I crashed and fell. Feel like Satan's putting me under a magic spell. I guess that's just a rare into the demonic presence of sake of a bloodline. Yo. This this went from from me being happy in in laughing at his bars to this has gone some serious way now. Because he, he's saying he's saying, oh, I was nearly there. I, 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 I was nearly clean, I was nearly sober, but yo, I'm, that that devil man, that devil put me straight back in there. And I'm struggling again, but is is it because of is it because of other people in my family have been addicted? And it's like the devil knows that you're know, that the bloodline's weak in a way, and you know, we'll just aim for him and, and bring him back in and get him addicted and get him to get him to use and stuff like that. Oh. Batsky man. Remnants of the demonic presence are seeking my bloodline. I've got a demon buried in Simon that's trying to reach for the sunlight. I start speaking in tongues, screaming at fuck life. I start speaking at puck, screaming at thug life. Start speaking at puck like start screaming at thug life. Yo, I, I, I really, really feel for Batsky man because this dude has got so much talent. He's got. Is he. He's got so much talent, he's, he's, but he's got so many troubles that go with it and I hate to see it, I absolutely hate to see it. And I've only been doing this for a couple of years, so for you guys that are watching and that have grown with him and seen him through the worst of his days and the best of his days, man, you, you'll have been through this journey with him and you'll know every time that, that he relapses and stuff and you guys will feel it more than I do, but I really feel for him. This how I did last This fits in perfectly. Anything please Doctor, doctor, doctor have have mercy on me. me take this pain away. Yours give me my symptoms stop. Perfect sample for this track. Autonomous biology. 
half cyborg, half slot machine I'll let ever see a dollar signs Even if it's in the middle of the night It's still a daylight robbery late night No, even if it's in the middle of the night It's still a daylight robbery Dude just said I'm half cyborg and a half slot machine Yo, just stop those dollars, man Let's put those dollars inside him What's going on? What's going on? Biology Half cyborg, half stop machine. Will I ever see a dollar signs? Even if it's in the middle of the night, it's still a daylight robbery. Late night shopping spree. Still trying to figure out if my guardian angel did or he didn't stick around. I used to slip my wrist to pick the stitches out. Tempted to buy the devil, that bitch took me down a different route. I'm only 26, but still feel like I've lived about a thousand different lives. We're just inside the one I'm living now. Do these people even listen when I spit it loud? All I hear is silence and the whispers of a distant crowd. It's a devil. Hit me. I don't even know where to go for me with this track. This this is this is what I'd say is classic one back. Just getting just getting inside that booth, man, and and that's his therapy and getting shit off his chest, shit off his mind, and and pointing out all. It's like an open book. He's putting it out there for everybody to listen to, to everybody to hear, to so everybody knows what he's going through and. And not only is it is it wombat therapy, it's also therapy for people listening to it that are going through the same thing because they'll be like, yo, I'm going through this and nobody else is going... There is. If you're going through something, like, just like wombat's going through stuff, just like millions, and I mean millions of people are going through addiction and stuff, and it affects everybody, man. Whether you like it or not, it affects everybody. You might not be addicted. You might not have been... or have any addictive sort of qualities, but soon you'll know we'll have... So addiction fucking affects everybody. And the fact they're saying, yo, I'm 26, but I feel like I've lived a thousand lives. Dudes. Dudes had a hard life. Brown. I used to slip my wrist to pick the stitches out. Had to find the devil that bitch took me down a different route. I'm only 26, but still feel like I've lived about a thousand different lives. We're just inside the one I'm living now. Then these people even listen when I spit it loud. All I hear is silence and the whispers of a distant crowd. It's a devil dragging me back to hell. I was halfway up the stairway to heaven until I crashed and fell. Feel like Satan's putting me under a magic spell. I guess that's just the remnants of the demonic presence to seek on a bloodline. I got a demon buried in time and it's trying to reach for the sunlight. I start speaking in tongues, screaming at fuck light. I start speaking at puck, screaming at thug light. Yo, I kind of feel like this is a. Yo, part of me kind of thinks that this is like a cry for help. A part of me feels like this is like a cry for help for someone to help him get get clean, man, get sober. It's quite, it's quite sad in me listening to this actually. Right, guys, that's that one done. That's that one done, man. Yo, I feel, I feel massively for him because I know how hard it is. To get to get clean, to get sober, because you know, like I say, it's touched addictions touched many people. You know, in <clears throat> unfortunately for me, uh, well, not unfortunate for me, but unfortunately, my family's been touched by addiction because um, my uncle died of a heroin overdose. Um, my brother is a drug addict, uh, heroin and heroin and fucking the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst of the, worst of the stuff. Um, yeah, not, not, it's not a good thing, man, it's not a good thing at all. Right, guys, that's all I'm done. It's really sad me now, listening to that. That that really feels like it's, like it's a cry for help, like, when he was saying that people are listening to his words, when he's saying what he's saying out loud, but nobody can hear what he's saying. It's like a message inside a message. Right, guys, that's that one done. Thanks for watching, if you watch it end. If you are struggling with any sort of addiction, man, please try and get help. Honestly, honestly, try and get help. See you guys on the next one.